Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fullman Adventure Club and today we're gonna to be reviewing these permanent outdoor LED Eve lights by Lumary. Uh, this is 65 feet long with 39 LEDs that are independently controlled. So you can change the color of all of them. They have really cool presets. Uh, they're waterproof. You can leave them up year round and use them for parties, security, outdoor lighting, um, pretty much anything you can imagine. Halloween, Christmas, decoration, stuff like that, lighting effects. They're actually very cool. These were sent to me for free to do their video. So I threw these up because I can never turn down cool gadgets and gears and LED lights. I'm just obsessed. So we're going to get into the unboxing and how to install these, set them up, and I'll show you exactly what they do right now. So let's get into it. So opening up the box, nothing too crazy inside here. In the first box, we're gonna have the lights themselves. This is a 65 foot strand with 39 individually controllable LED lights. Underneath that, you're gonna have your manual and in the other box, you have your power supply and your physical remote control. These can also be controlled by Google Home, Alexa, or the Lumary phone app, um, which is what I use the most often. It also comes with some cable management uh, clips there as well. So do your math, figure out where these are going, what the spacing is, etc., and then you just remove the little backing over the sticker and stick them right into place. It was really, really easy to just go down the line until they're all up there. Um, and also the adhesive on these guys is really, really good. I haven't had any of them come loose in two months uh, with rain or moisture or wind or anything else. And you can see they do stick to metal and wood. So one of them stuck to the underside of a metal roofing there. That one stuck to a two by six. And then here one stuck to rough cut lumber. So the adhesive is actually pretty impressive and works quite well. Now, when it comes to uh, managing your cables and kind of securing these a little better, they give you two options, the nail in clips or or the sticky adhesive strip uh, clips and that's what I went with because they're just very very easy and the adhesive works quite well so you clip that to the wire get your wire where you want it press in place and repeat and you're good to go so here are the lights in action I put the uh, app uh, of my phone on the right side of the display there so you can kind of track along with me you can see you can change the colors just by dragging it pretty much anywhere you want you can do white you can do green blue etc just about any color in the rainbow uh, just by moving those around and these are some of the presets but actually before I get into that let me go back for a second back to colors you can dim all of these colors with the dim slider switch down below so if you don't want it to be so obnoxious you just want a little mood lighting or whatever maybe along the pathway so you can kind of see what's going on in your porch that's very very handy and you can dim that with every color now as we get into some of these presets here you can see they have rainbow you can create your own that's why you see two rainbows listed here one is faster one is shorter I should also mention that this video is being played at about twice its normal speed so we can get through this um, these will all be slower in real time but a lot of really cool options here from like chase rainbow RGB you see here's the chase it's just gonna kind of go through with a new color every so often and you can control Control that speed, etc. RGBAI or whatever this is, and that's pretty cool. It's kind of like a crazy party scene. And they have gradients, jump, control, breathing, a lot of little options there. And you can control each light bulb individually. You can turn them off individually or choose the colors of each individual bulb, which I don't cover in this demonstration because we're just kind of trying to get through this and show some of the things that this guy can do. Uh, the breathing effect, blink effect, um, all this stuff. And so it does have some pretty cool little options there that you can kind of play around with. And um, of course these are moving at twice it's nor their normal speed. They go a little slower um, in real time, but I just kind of wanted to burn through some of these so you can see them in action. And you can also do uh, music, rhythm, stuff like that um, on your phone. Now for this one, I wanted to show you the app and the response time, which is actually quite well. It, it doesn't have a lot of lag. It doesn't, uh, crash on me or anything and so I have a second set of lights from Lumary in those bushes to the right side of the phone and you can see I can easily switch between those to the Eve lights and then change the colors around however I want to make them match or to make you know make them do e either of the uh, these presets that they have here so for example I'm gonna set the light to go with uh, this one right here rainbow effect and then I'm just gonna switch right over in the in the app and uh, change my landscape lights to do the same thing. And it worked quite well, very fast, no hesitation. Um, I really didn't have any problems at all with the app, which I like because sometimes different light control apps take a long time to connect and 
wake up and all this stuff. Whereas I found this one was quite responsive and easy to change between different LED light groups that I have. For me, I just have these two, but it worked quite well and you can pretty much, you know, make these go uh, with each other or just set them up independently. And I really, really like that. Change the, the brightness, the dimness on all of these and it's just pretty cool. So I thought I'd show you that real fast. The app works quite well and that was in real time. Now I'm gonna show you the porch just so you have a pretty good indication of how bright these are. I tried to set my camera to where it was close to what I was seeing and then I locked all the settings in place so it wouldn't adjust on us. But you can see, you know, when we dim it, we go through the colors. This is also sped up footage at about 200%, um, as you can see by my fast walking dog. But this gives you a good indication of the light that actually is put out, say on your driveway or your porch, just to give you kind of a general idea of how bright these things actually are um, in contrast and what they look like from a different angle and, and they're pretty cool i do like some of the presets for sure and i do like that you can control each individual light separately um, and you can turn everything off with an alexa routine at the end of the night so i don't have to remember that these are going or set up timers you can do all of that through the app as well as far as timers are concerned so they work really well and i've really been enjoying them if you want to make your entire house green or let's say I kind of like the red dim setting personally um, it's just kind of easy on the eyes it doesn't mess up your night vision it's Halloween so it looks really cool and if you want to throw a party this makes a statement for sure Well, there you go, guys. I've really been enjoying these lights. They're really customizable. You can do pretty much anything you want with them. I personally enjoy them all on the red setting, kind of dimmed down because it gives you a really nice accent lighting. It's close to Halloween at the time of this video, so it looks kind of spooky, but it also doesn't mess with your night vision. You can still see stars. You can still see what's going on in your yard without it being obnoxious. And if you're having a party or something and you want to use the, the crazy features, uh, the presets that come with it, it definitely makes a statement, which is also pretty fun too. I'm going to be able to leave these up and use them for whatever kind of decorating mood that I want as far as the lighting is concerned. They seem well built. They're working fine. The adhesive is great because I stuck it to a bunch of um, rough cut wood, metal. It's stuck to both. I didn't even have to use the included fasteners. Um, but you might want to just for high wind situations, what have you. Also, I might have mentioned briefly in the video, but it's 65 feet long. And if there are no obstructions, you'll you'll make that distance. However, since I had two by fours coming down under the eave of my house, I kind of had to put two in between and then a little loop to go over the board. And that cut down my distance to about 40 feet. Um, for whatever reason, that worked out absolutely perfect for the entire front of my house. But that might be something that you want to consider uh, when you're choosing your distance. Um, these are great to control with Alexa and um, Google Home and all that good stuff, which I really like because I have a routine that just turns off everything in my house. So I don't have to worry about forgetting if I left those on or off or whatever. And you can also turn them on, set them for timers, come on at a certain time of the night and then turn off at a certain time of the night. They're very, very customizable and I've been having a lot of fun using them. Um, the price has changed a little bit since I first got them and when I checked today, so I'll just put a link in the description below that'll take you straight over to Amazon so you can get the accurate price on these guys if it seems like something that you're interested in. Um, I think that about wraps it up. If there's ever a problem with these guys, I will update the description down below um, just so if there's ever a problem, I can let you guys know. So make sure you check that description. My name is Jim with Fullman Adventure Club and I really hope that video helped you out. If it did, please like, share, subscribe because that really helps me out and keeps the videos coming. So until the next video, you guys, thanks so much for watching and happy camping.